Welcome to um, everyone, uh, all the nominees, and welcome to the Moreland Award Ceremony tonight. Um, the next award to be presented is the Lisa Belair Award for Contribution to Reconciliation Activities, presented by Councillor Dale Marvin. Dale. Thank you, Mayor. So I would like to start by uh, start this category by acknowledging that this event is being held on the lands of the Wurundjeri uh, Woiwurrung people. It was taken for them without a treaty process, without consent, compensation, and sovereignty was never ceded. I wish to acknowledge them as the traditional custodians of these lands and waterways and would also like to pay our respect to the elders past, present and emerging, as well as to all First Nations communities who significantly, significantly contribute to the life of this area. So my name is Councillor Dale Munn and I'm proud to be announcing the Lisa Belair Award for Contribution to Reconciliation Activities uh, in 2020. And so I would like to welcome all the nominees who are here with us in this virtual environment uh, now. And um, without further ado, I'll, I'll introduce the nominees. So our first nominee is Casey Goodman. Second nominee is Speak Up, Speak Out. And our third nominee is Melody Davies. So um, well done. Congratulations. It's really fantastic. Um, you know, like we've, we've sort of mentioned before, you don't get nominated for an award for no reason. So, um, you know, well done uh, for, for the work that you do uh, in our community. So for the judging panel this year, uh, this was a tricky one because all of the nominees really uh, do such fantastic work um, in our community. And so as a council, um, we decided that we would offer two high accommodation awards as well as a winner in this category. So I'd like to announce the first high accommodation award tonight, and that goes to Casey Goodman. Congratulations. Now, I would like to also announce our second High Commendation Award tonight, and that goes to Melody Davies. Congratulations. Congratulations to everyone, and, and thank you, everyone, for your time. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. It's, uh, it is a really fantastic um, acknowledgement of, of the work um, that both of you do in our community and, and it was so hard to split, um, so we decided that we would um, award you both high accommodation um, awards. And so I would now like to offer the opportunity um, for Casey to first say a few words, if you'd like, um, and followed by Melody. Thank you. Thank you, and uh, thank you. Before I begin, I'd like to acknowledge that I'm speaking um, on the land from, from Sam City on the land of the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation um, and pay my respects to their elders past, present and emerging. Um, thank you, Shimon City Council, for um, your, your high commendation. Um, I also want to thank the Moreland City Council Children's Services team, um, in particular Jeanette, Sophie um, and Amy um, for their support, um, my colleagues and my leadership team at Moreland Community Child Care Centres. Um, and I want to thank the services who have jumped on board to be a part of the Moreland Reconciliation Network Group, um, the early years services that have jumped on board and been a part of this um, without their support and their willingness to be a part of this um, yeah, it wouldn't have been as successful as it has been and I feel really fortunate to be able to um, share my experiences in the reconciliation space in early years with them um, and it's inspiring to know that so many early year services know and understand and really strongly believe that this work is um, the work of... Um, it, it's not work that needs to be left to First Nations people. It's work that we need to do as early childhood professionals as well. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank, thank you, Casey. Uh, Melody, would you like to say a few words? I will. Um, I will also say that I am on uh, Wurundjeri land where I am um, living at the moment. Um, pay my respects to Elders past, present and emerging, but also acknowledge um, through this journey that I've been on the strength and resilience of our First Nations people uh, through all the adversity um, that has been there for them. 
I would like to thank the Action on Aboriginal Perspectives in Early Childhood group for giving me the opportunity to work so closely with them in this space. Um, I'm somewhat humbled by getting this award because in reflecting on it, I thought I'm not sure that um, I've done anything that any other person would do in this space. Um, but my approach to working with um, the community was to present as an ally and a support to the Aboriginal people who were working in this space. So uh, I was walking a fine line between being there to provide back of house support, um, help with grants, um, use my expertise in the early childhood space and the cultural inclusion space to seek funding for the group and stand really in the shadows and let the group shine itself and do the work that they do so well. So I feel quite privileged to be given the opportunity to be an ally to that group um, and I hope that, that it continues and we can use the learnings from working with that group with other groups. So thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. A round of applause for, for both of our highly commended. So it's quite obvious that uh, the winner of the 2020 Lisa Valera Award for Contribution to Reconciliation Activities is Speak Up and Speak Out. Um, and so congratulations to Speak Up, Speak Out. I'd, I'd love it if um, I'll just say a few words uh, about the program. So Speak Up, Speak Out was a pilot initiative funded by the Victorian State Government through the Aboriginal Family Violence Primary Prevention Fund. The pilot included two programs engaging a total of 26 Aboriginal or, and or Torres Strait Islander young people aged 9 to 12 years. All participants attended school in the Moreland and Hume local government areas the program focused heavily on connecting the young people to their culture and community and provided an opportunity for the young people to become leaders in their school community. The program also provided leadership and training, empowering them with the skills and confidence to become leaders within their community, standing up against discrimination in all its forms. So congratulations to Speak Up, Speak Out. If there is a representative uh, that would like to, to say a few words. Um, unfortunately, Liz, who is our project officer, is not here. So uh, I have been, I have been selected last moment to give this uh, these few words. Um, Thanks. I, I would like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land upon which I'm meeting tonight, which are the Wajak people of the Noongar Nation. I'd like to pay my respects to their elders, past, present, and emerging. Um. I'd like to first of all thank the Essendon Football Club and the Long Walk Foundation for their support, um, all of the schools who participated and helped us through the process, um, all of the, the elders group that supported us throughout our whole project, but most importantly, the young people involved um, who really made the initiative what it was. Um, I would also like to acknowledge the other two nominees tonight. I know both of your work actually very well. Um, we're in really, really strong company and, and feel very lucky to, to um, have taken this home tonight. Thank you very much. Thanks very much. Um, so, again, thank you to all the nominees. Um, you provided us quite a challenge in trying to split you um, and the great work uh, that, that you do. And so we will make arrangements to send these um, certificates um, as well as a, a gift voucher out to um, each of you um, over, the, uh, over the next few days.